Hi folks, this is Leo Nasaki again. So today we will be looking at dockerizing a, a LTJS project. So uh, on our previous tutorials, we'll look at uh, what is Docker, we explained what is Docker and what is the use for Docker containers. And on our last tutorial, which was the previous one, we dockerized uh, a Python Fast API project whereby we load and running the Docker commands, building the project and running the REST endpoint to test the project deployment. So today for this tutorial, folks, we'll be looking at dockerizing a React.js project. So first of all, we need to set up uh, a React.js project, define its structure and define if its roots and dependencies if it's needed. So I also write a Docker file, which we'll be looking at also explaining on the base image and copying files, install the dependencies and setting up the project. And also to run and build the image. Okay, so folks, I have this uh, little uh, project for which is so, which is built in ArcGIS. So what this project is, it basically consumes one Rust endpoint from the backend, which is was the last uh, previous section we looked at. So for this one, so this project exposes this Rust endpoint. So basically just a, a converter for a SDT to a ZAR, which is to a RAND. So you just pass a parameter of a quantity and then you get a price based on the specified quantity. And so I will look at the we'll look at the interface for this project but for now we'll look at uh, docker as in this project so setting up the docker file this is the docker file for this project how this is how the structure will look like to build this container so we have from there which is from the node remember this is an project a project which runs on node so it requires node.js as the base image that we'll be using to build. And then we have a working directory, which we then have it, we copy the packages, and then we install the production, we copy the rest of the project, and then we run the npm build, which uses now, that will serve the React app to an Nginx, via an Nginx web server. And then we are running the remove files of the static engine next files so we can consume the project and then we run the build and then we expose the application here on port 80 uh, and also yes we start the engine server okay folks let's begin on doing that now okay so this is the same structure that you've seen here which is on the ide which is basically the text editor which is VS code that i'm running at the time so we have it there. So the first step that we'll do, uh, I'm just gonna clear up the screen. Okay, so let's do a list of the files. So we have the following structure, which is everything that we looked at the VS Code, which is on the IDA or text editor, as you may call it. So we have this now. So first off step that we'll need to do is to first check if is in the in the running image uh, for this project which is we could see this thing you can see this stage there's no uh, uh there's no there's no for this project or maybe if we run a docker ps which only lists the running images there is nothing at this stage so let's go in now so we on the same directory for the project so the first command that we will run to build which is the to invoke this docker image, this docker file. So the first command we'll run, which is the build command, will be uh, build, which is so in Linux, it's slightly different how you build images or, or how you build well or FTJS images. Uh, so if you are using Linux, you have to specify. Sometimes it requires you to specify this part, which is this Docker dash build kit is equals to one. Basically, uh, in other operating system, meaning on Windows, you just run the Docker build command, which is not the issue. As you can see here on the readme for this project, this is what you want to use if you are running on Windows. On Windows, this is what you were to use well this is what you were to use to, to build the project it's just docker build you don't need this first part which is uh the docker build kit so 
For this one, we run that. So we the build kit is about so one docker build it dash team value front end dot. And then we run that command. So this should list out and pull all the dependencies for the project and install those. Well, as you can see, folks, it's already completed. It's finished successfully. So now we need to run the we need to run the image now so we can start up the web server so we can be able to interact it within the browser. So how we run it, uh, so docker run, which is now docker run, docker run. Okay. so for the purpose of this project, uh, usually uh, the project will start out on port 3000, however, so for us to be able to consume it on the browser, we need to map that port with port 80 so it can be accessible on the browser. So this is how we do that, docker run dash d dash p, uh, which is port 3000 internal and dash and colon 80, which is the external port. And then we are on the command, the command. So as you can see, Command seems to have worked fine. So now, if we do our Docker our PS, we should see this image started up perfect valley proper. So now we could see this container is successfully started up. We could see its status. It's up for 10 seconds, meaning we just created its creation. It's 10 seconds. So if we are to look at it then on the browser for this project, I'm just going to bring up my other screen which is for the browser. So if we are to look at this project now, we should be able to access it on port 3000. So let me just refresh. There we go. So we can access it on port 3000. However, as we said earlier on, as we described that this is just a USDT to the price calculator. So you just prompt, you just pass a quantity for the price you want for the price that you want so if i were to pass for example for quantity of two let's see what price what do we get but however at this stage it shouldn't work for fine because of the back end is not connected or it's not started so we shouldn't see any price currently so uh, there we go error fetching price which is we need to start out to the back end as well so on the previous session we learned how to build the python fast api project using docker so we're just going to start out the container now so we can connect the two applications so docker ps a so we have already built that one last time so right now we're just going to start it and contain and connect the two applications so to start this will be docker start docker one just docker one docker start just docker start and then we have container id there we go it is started so if we look at now on the running docker containers let's see Wow, we could see, you can see now those uh, both have started successfully on the edges emitted quotes. So now, meaning now, if we look at on the browser again, if we are prompting again now a price by, meaning a quantity of a two, we should get the price for this quantity. So we have it there. I'm just going to write again. Boom. Well, it's our price work. So meaning we learned uh, how to dockerize a full stack application for these uh, tutorials. We managed, successfully managed to build two projects, which is the backend and the front end project. And then we were able to dockerize the two and connect the two applications. I will end this section here, folks. If you have any questions, please provide them on the description or just on the comment section below. I will be answering those. Thank you so much, folks. I appreciate it. See you in the next tutorial.